I'm going to explain about DVC and end-to-end -end deep video compression framework. Introduction The project proposes utilizing a deep learning encoder and decoder to compress motion images and improve video quality and size. The project extends the work by employing a CNN super resolution technique with high intensity pixel replacement, which minimizes image size. The project compresses individual frames rather than the entire movie due to computational cost of DVC and super resolution. Despite the encouraging findings, significant processing requirement prevent real time compression on typical computers with both algorithms taking 2 to 3 minutes to complete. Given a high processing system, the project's goal is to demonstrate the capability of compressing single frames to compress the full video. Objective The project's objective is to create an end-to-end -end deep video compression framework DVC that uses deep learning encoder and decoder to reduce motion images while also improving video quality and size. In addition to increase image quality, the project extends the framework by employing a CNN super resolution technique with high intensity pixel replacement. Because both DVC and super resolution approaches are computationally demanding, the project focuses on compressing individual frames from the video. The major purpose is to demonstrate the capability of compressing single frames to achieve video compression on a high processing machine while emphasizing the difficulty of real time comparison on typical laptops. Requirements The requirements of the project are hardware requirements and software requirements. In hardware requirements, we have operating system windows only, processor i5 and above, RAM 4GB and above, hard disk 20GB and above. In software requirements, we have Python IDEL with 3.7 version. Methodology To implement this project, we have designed the following modules. The first module is upload video. Using this module, we will upload the sample video. Second module is DVC end-to-end -end compression. The DVC module in the framework refers to the deep video compression technique. It involves using the deep learning encoder and decoder to compress motion images in the video. The encoder learns to represent the complex motion patterns in the video frames and the decoder reconstructs the frames from the compressed representation. This end-to-end -end approach allows for more efficient and effective video comp compression, achieving higher compression ratios while maintaining video quality. Second, third module is Extension CNN Super Resolution. The Extension CNN Super Resolution module is an enhancement to the DVC framework. After the DVC comparison process, the framework applies a convolutional neural network CNN based super resolution algorithm. Super resolution aims to enhance the resolution and details of the compressed frames. In this extension, a high intensity pixel replacement algorithm is employed, which further improves the image quality by replacing weak intensity pixels. However, however, this process may lead to a decrease in image size due to the removal of certain pixels. Fourth module is calculate PSNR between proposed and extension super resolution. The peak signal to noise ratio PSNR is a metric used to evaluate the quality of the reconstructed images in comparison to the original images. In this context, the PSNR is calculated between the result of the proposed DVC with CNN super resolution and the extension DVC with the CNN super resolution. This comparison allows us to measure the improvement in image quality achieved by the extension work. A higher PSNR value indicates better image quality and similarity to the original frames. Execution. For the execution of the project, we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder. This is DVC master. This folder contains the RD curve and test demo folders. And these folders contain the files of DSTOR, Overview, readme.mp, etc. And this is the HD video folder in which we have the sample video which we will be using during the execution of the project. This is helper folder. This folder, which is a PyCache folder, contains the files of arguments, custom frees, graph, loaded, etc. And this is the model folder. This folder contains the algorithm information. This file can be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the train models. And this is decoder, encoder, main resolution these are the python files which are used in the main code for the execution of the project 
and this is run.batch file. Instead of executing a project in the command line interface, we have created Windows batch file to execute the project. Double click on run.batch file. This is the graphical user interface which we have created using Tikenter library in Python. Using this GUI, we will interact with the project. Click on upload video to upload the video. Select the video, open it. So here we can see that the video is loaded. Click on OK. Now click on DVC end to end compression to start compression and wait for some time to get compressed frame out. To compress single frame, we will require more memory. So this compression algorithm requires more memory due to that reason I'm compressing a single frame only. So this is a single frame. Now close the image. And this is the comparison graph. X axis represents the technique name and in Y axis we have image size in MP. Now close the graph. Comparison image size is reduced and this both original and compressed images I have saved in code directory so that we can check the size manually. And to images I have given the name original.jpg and end to end compressed.jpg. Now click on extension CNN super resolution to run extension idea. In above screen, first image is end and compress image and the second image represents super resolution technique and we can see second image is having little more clarity compared to first image. So super resolution can decrease size and increase quality. We can check size of super resolution image by going inside super res resolution folder. Now we will close the images. Click and this is the graph between video size before compression, DVC video size after compression and super resolution video size. X axis represents the technique name and Y axis represents image size in MP and in all techniques super resolution took less storage size. Now close the graph, click on calculate PSNR between proposed and extension super resolution to get PSNR graph. So here, this is the PSNR graph, X axis represents technique name and Y axis represents PSNR of that technique and in both techniques super resolution got high PSNR compared to DVC technique. Now close the graph and this is the tabular form of the comparison. So here we have the algorithm name that is DVC end to end and extension super resolution and here we are having the PSNR, SNR and MSC values. So we can say that PSNR got the high value compared to DVC and close this. So here we can see all the values of DVC end to end PSNR. Extension Super Resolution PSNR, DVC end to end MSC, Extension Super Resolution MSC, DVC end to end SNR, Extension Super Resolution SNR. So these are the values which we get in the PSNR graph. And the final conclusion of the project is the project's conclusion shows the successful construction of DVC and end-to-end -end deep video compression framework which employs deep learning encoder and decoder for motion image compression and video quality enhancement. The extension work that incorporates CNN super resolution with high intensity pixel replacement increases image quality even more. However, because both DVC and super resolution approaches are computationally costly, compressing the full video on a typical laptop remains difficult. Given a high processing system, this is, the project proves the potential of compressing single frames to accomplish video compression. Future study could concentrate on refining the algorithms for real-time comparison on resource-constrained devices, as well as investigating hard hardware acceleration to enable realistic implementation. Thank you for watching the video. 
Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.